What's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper 3 of A-level math, October, November 2002. So in this video, we'll be trying to explain everything as detailed as possible. We'll be going through the steps one by one to solve every question. And now with that being said, let's move on to the questions we have for you. So now we have question number one for you. So here we have to solve the inequality uh, modulus of 9 minus 2x less than 1. So here we have modulus. So in this case, there's a few ways of solving this. One is we can square both sides. That's one method. So let's try that. Why not? So one way to remove the modulus will square both sides. You will have uh, 9 minus 2x square and minus 1 square. Less than 1, so square. Uh, now we have to uh, simplify. You will have um, 81 minus 36 x and plus 4x squared less than 1 we have to rearrange and send this over here we will have what we will have 4x squared minus 36x and here we have 81 then minus 1 will be plus 80 less than 0 now since everyone is kind of uh, even we can divide by 2 or we can divide by 4 let's try it, again it is just to simplify the equation right I'm doing this you will have x squared minus uh, 9x plus 20 less than 0 now how do we solve this kind of equation we have to find the critical values so critical values is what we take the same equation we have done this in add math if you recall uh, we have to equate that to 0 to find the critical values now this is a quadratic equation to find the value of x I can factorize or I can also use my formula right in this case I will just factorize why not here we have x times x, 20 is 2 times 10, but also 4 times 5. I'll go with 4 times 5. Why? Because I need to get minus 9 here. So minus 9 is equal to minus 4, minus 5. So minus times minus is plus. So confirm it is, is the good factorization. Hence, the critical values is x equal to 4 and x equal to 5 will be the critical values. Now using those values, I will have... Uh, I, I can I can help myself to find my answer so I'll draw my number line over here this is the value of 4 for example and this is the value of, of 5 now according to my equation here what is the shape of this graph so we do understand that the coefficient is 1 it is positive so the shape will be something like this have a minimum shape right obviously so we consider this to be 0. This line is like the level line 0. Now we want this equation to be less than 0. Less than 0, so 0 above, less below. So it will be between these two, right? Hence, by observation, we can see x will have to be between 4 and 5 for it to be less than 0. This is your answer for question part 1, and this is just one way of doing this. So let's focus on the other way as well, I believe which is the easiest way, if you guys can remember. So we have modulus 9 minus 2x less than 1. Now we have to understand, if we have this modulus in this form, we can rewrite this as 9 minus 2x is less than 1, or 9 minus 2x more than minus 1. Alright, so just, just understand that this can be broken down into these two. So minus 2x will be what? Send this over here becomes minus 8x. So when you divide by a negative value, the sign will change, become 4. Here we have minus 2x more than minus 1, minus 9, minus 10. When you divide by a negative sign, the sign will change, becomes 5. Now more than 4, less than 5. So we have 4 here and 5. So more than 4 and less than 5 will be right here. Hence, by this method, we also conclude x will be the value between 4 and 5 as well for this inequality. So two ways of solving. So one way is a brute force way. Whenever you see modulus, you can just square both sides and then solve one by one. Or if you know this, we can use this way of breaking down as well to find the values that we need for our answer. X has to be between the value of 4 and 5, and this is your question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to find the exact value of this integration. Now we can observe what? We can observe this is an algebraic function, and this is a logarithm function. 
it's two different types multiplied to each other. So what we, what are we going to use? We'll be using uh, integration by parts. We have to follow the ILAT rule. So the first one here is log. This is the inverse functions. This is log and this is algebra. So which one confirm come first? As you can see, L come first, which is the log. So whichever come first here, we will call this one our what? So again, what is the formula for um, the integration by part? You would say it is uv minus integration of v by du. Now for whichever come first, we'll call this our, our u. And this one will be the dv. All right. Now let me, of course, make a side note here. So my u, according to my equation, will be ln of x. So what is du? Differentiate, that will be 1 over x. Uh, my dv will be my x and v will be integration that will be x squared over 2 right now this next thing to do is just to simplify and just we just have to replace back in our equation this is the uh, formula for integration by part u is equal to ln of x multiplied by v v is x squared over 2 minus integration of v which is again x squared over 2 times du, which is 1 over x. Of course, here we have the x. Right, um, so simplify. So this will cancel out, right? And this will go out, so you have, so let's bring this in front, you will have x squared here, over 2, ln x. Makes sense, right? Here we have minus, so let's bring the half outside. So you have half, integration of x by dx. So simplify. That will be x squared over 2, ln of x, minus half, and this will become x squared over 2. Right? Makes sense. And then simplify again, you will have x squared over 2, ln of x, minus 1 over 4, right? x squared. And the limits here we'll have is between the value of 2 and 1. Now we can solve, we can simplify, um, you will have, so this will become 4 over 2, ln of 2 minus 1 over 4 times 4, right? Now for this one, place the value of 1 in the x, you will have x squared, and it will be 1 minus 1 over 4 times 1. So simplify, let's see what happens, so ln of 1 is 0, so this will cancel out, um, here we have ln of that will be 2, so you have 2 ln of 2 minus 1, right? And here we have minus sign, here we will have minus minus, so minus here we have minus 1 over 4. So keep simplifying to see what happens. You will have 2 ln 2 minus 1 plus 1 over 4. That will be 2 ln 2, so minus 1 plus 1 over 4 is minus 3 over 4. So this is your answer, or you can write this, or you can write definitely ln uh, 4 as well, 3 over 4. So these two are the same thing. I, I just send this one up here to um, find your answer. Again, this is your answer for question number 2. What is the main concept here? The main takeaway is that we realize, wait, this is a product of an algebraic function and a logarithm function. So we can use integration by parts here to solve this. Now the main equation you guys have to know, integration by parts is what? It's just we have to use uv minus integration of v by du. Now we just have to choose which one is going to be u and which one is going to be dv, right? According to our equation, we had integration of x times ln of x with respect to dx. We realize this one is an algebraic function. And this one is a logarithm function. According to our rule, which is I L A T late, where I late, we will have to see which one comes first. According to my list, I can see L, which is logarithms, come first, and then we have algebra. So in this com in these two, with these two, we compare. Okay, well, from what I can see, the log comes first. If the log comes first, we will assign the first one as U. Okay, and we will assign the, the next one, which is the uh, algebra, as dv. So once we assign those values, it's pretty easy. We have to find the value of v. Now, how do you find v? 
if we know dv is equal to x, v will be integration of x. That will be x squared over 2. Same way, if you have u, how do you find du? Pretty easy. So u is equal to ln of x. So du will have to be differentiate. That will be 1 over x. Obviously, differentiate with respect to x. So you have the x as well. But as you can see, in the question, we add that later on. So there's no big deal. So this is the idea. Once you're able to assign those values for those two, you should be able to use your formula pretty easily to replace and then having all these things done for you. Now will be question number two. Let's move on to question number three. So we have to show that the equation log to the base of 10 x plus 5 is equal to 2 minus log to the base of 10 x can be or may be written as a quadratic equation in terms of x. So um, we have to simplify. So basically what the question is asking you is we have this log function. We have to show this function can be simplified into a quadratic equation in terms of x. That's what it is asking you to do. Now, obviously, since we have logs, we have to understand weight. We have to use the laws of logarithms. For example, if I tell you, if you have log base of a, here we have, uh, let's say we have 5 plus log base of a, let's say we have 6. Can we combine those two? Yes, because they have log of the same base. That will be log, same base a. Here we have 5 plus becomes multiply 6. So this will become log base a 30. So we have to use these laws of logarithms to help us simplify this one. So step by step. So what I can do is I can regroup. Here we have log base of 10. Here we have log of base of 10. Let's regroup them together on one side. So you will have log base of 10. Here we have x plus 5. Send this over here becomes plus log base of 10 x is equal to 2. Now what's next? As you can see here, same base, when it's plus, it becomes multiply. So the idea is, if they have the same base, right, base of 10, I can combine them together. And the inside will just have to have x plus 5. Here we have plus sign, it becomes multiply x is equal to 2. Now what's next? Now we have to also understand by the laws of logarithms. Let's say if I have log base of 10, x is equal to 2. To get the value inside, I have to send the base here. So x will have to be 10 power 2 by the laws of logarithms. So similarly here, to find the value inside, I have to send the base over here. So expand, or we can write this down here. This one is the value inside. It will become 10 power 2, which is 100. Now simplify, you will have x squared plus 5x is equal to 100. Send this one to the left hand side, you will have x squared plus 5x minus 100 is equal to 0. Now clearly this one is called a, will be called a quadratic function or equation in x. So we shown as required. Now part 2, hence, it means hence using part 1, find the value of x satisfying this equation. So this is the same equation, so we have to find, solve for the value of x. So one by one, how can you solve this? Uh, well, we can try to factorize if you want to, but again, if I don't want to lose time, I can just use my formula, right? You know, this is one over here, right? So x is equal to minus b, so this is a, b, and c, a, b, and c. x is equal to minus b, which is minus 5, plus minus root of b squared will be 25 minus 4 times a times c and divide by 2a which is 2 so x will be what minus 5 plus minus root of that's 25 minus minus become plus 400 425 over the value of 2 so x can be two values let me write this down we have two values for x x can be minus 5 minus this one over 2 or x can be minus 5 plus root of 425 over 2 but obviously we do understand that logs so logs here we have in the equation log base of 10 it takes in the value of x 
now log can only take in positive values now this one is negative minus minus so it will not be valid so our only possible answer will be this one so hence the value of x is equal to a root for 25 minus 5 over 2 and this is your answer for question uh, number three now what is the takeaway here takeaway is we have to know the laws of logarithms and we have to know how to use our quadratic equation to solve this also understand that we can have both answer because we understand that in the equation x will take will be only positive because log can only take a positive value hence we observe we say okay this is negative it will not be good we can only take this one as your only answer so that is your question uh, number three i hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful if you guys would love to access the full video feel free to click on the patreon link on the main page otherwise you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the patreon page for the full video with that being said good luck and thank you for watching